Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Every Wednesday, as promised, I would like to bring you an easy cooking recipe. And today, I'm going to be making something simple in the crock pot called Cheesy Dump Pizza. Now, I, many of you may have editing software where you can show the beginning of what a recipe looks like and then after it's cooked. To be honest with you, I would have to do a second video because I'm not sure how to merge two videos together. It's something I'd like to learn. I don't know if you have to have editing software. Maybe some of you know. But let's get started on this. First thing we're going to do with Easy Cheese Dump Pizza, and you can use any ingredients, is I take some jumbo biscuits and I tear them up and put them in a slow cooker. I love these slow cooker um, bags because it's easy cleanup, but if you prefer not to spend your money on that, you could also use uh, spray the pan down. So I take the biscuits and I layer them. You're supposed to tear them up into pieces and you put them in there, okay? And so this is so simple. Also, by the way, you cook this on high for three to four hours. That's what it says. High, and it might be three hours. Let me double check on that. I apologize. It is high for three hours. The next thing that I do is I take some of any Mariana sauce or pizza sauce. You can even make your own and pour it on top. You can also use a gluten-free crust or something of that nature. Okay? Then it says to layer some cheese. You can use any kind of cheese that you like. I'm using mozzarella. You can use a little bit of cheese, a lot of cheese, anything like this. And I think I might do a second video tonight so that you can see what it looks like. The next thing you do is you layer your meat or vegetables. Now my husband, he likes vegetables okay, but he loves to just have pepperoni. So I take pepperoni and I lay that on top all around in here and it's very delicious. Um, I also have some olives. You could do that. For some that are vegetarian, you could take some chopped up vegetables and put it on. This could almost be good with anything. You, this, what's great about these crock pot recipes is you can diversify and do anything you want. Because Some of you may say, Dawn, I want to use turkey pepperoni or we don't eat meat or we're trying to cut down on meat. So you might put some olives and some chopped up peppers or you know maybe some avocado. I'm not sure how that would turn out. I love avocado. But you could basically put anything you want. Some of you that may not want to eat, you know, very much bread product, you could put a, make up a gluten-free crust and put it in there. Or um, a cauliflower crust. I've not done that yet for cauliflower. Um, you could maybe use some almond flour and make a crust and put that in here. And some of you, you know, you can just do anything you want. Many of you make your own sauce, so that would be good. So the, this is the pepperoni. I, I really don't think I need to use the entire um, container of pepperoni here. So I can save some of this for another time. But um, And then I layer some more cheese on top. And so this is going to be good. I'm going to put this on for three hours on high. Last time I made it, it was enough for three meals, which is incredible. And this wasn't that expensive because I'm not having to use all of my ingredients. So I'm going to turn this on, put the cover on here. It's nice and secure. And I'm going to turn this button on high. So this should be done in three to four hours. And that is it. So this is such a simple recipe. My girlfriend gave me this book. Um, and it was a crock pot dump book and I have made so many recipes out of this. Before I let you go, I want to do a shout out to a channel. I promise you I'm going to do a different shout out each day. The Homespun Wife, and I'm just starting to get to know her, is a very lovely lady named Sherry. She's a very much a Christian encourager. She loves to encourage people. She has a sweet, beautiful spirit. She has nothing but kind words to say for everyone. And I love listening to her because I always feel at peace when I listen to her. And so I know that God is speaking to her. I'm going to link her below so that you can learn more about her. Thank you, everybody, for watching. One last point. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk to you about savings. 
and how much it would be a good idea to save. And I say that because each of us are in different income brackets and have different life, you know, a different life, and we don't want to compare ourselves to others. But I will talk to you about that tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. By the way, this is my little um, nightgown. How do you like it? Am I bringing back sexy or what? <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye. Bye.